Welcome back to the farm, guys. And we're gonna reveal our new homestead. Yep. So we're gonna go through our house and then we're gonna go outside and we're gonna show you the property and yeah, lots of work to do. <laughs> so we bought a 22 acre, 27. sorry, it's 27 acre property um, in a very small town, population 600, soon to be 600 plus. And uh, we'll officially be here in a week and Michael and I are just here trying to get the water running and getting the essentials yeah. done for us to be here. Yeah, so we thought we'd do a quick little house tour with you guys and then we're going to run to Walmart, upload it and all that wonderful stuff because we have no internet, we have nothing here yet. Yeah. So uh, we have hydro, that's what we got. We don't even have water yet. So we're going to do that and then we're going to take you around the property and we're going to explain why we bought this property. And so first the house tour. Yep. House tour it is. Let me grab the camera. All right. So we're in the living room now. Um, we have a beautiful bay window. And yeah, bay window. And then we got our fireplace, which was a prerequisite. Not this mural. This mural is atrocious. I don't even know if I should show this mural. It's so gross. But there will be paint on it. I'm not showing it. <laughs> so, the gentleman that lived here before us was fairly older, and the property is very run down. So, you'll have to bear with that. But, uh, by the time, we have a five year plan already. So, it's going to take us a while, but you guys will be along for the ride. So, that should be pretty cool. So, yeah. So, this is the living room. First order get rid of the church pews <laughs> which are nailed into the floor yes yes this gentleman did everything with spike nails everything frustrating <laughs> and then you guys want to see something funny hey tracy like your glass door it's a french door ding dong <laughs> glass door <laughs> so this is our dining room um i'm super excited about this ignore the bags flour yeah. and the bags sugar <laughs> I brought the essentials, people. So um, I love this dining room. She loves it for that right there. Yeah, it's got a china cabinet built in and it's got the server window. <laughs> and then uh, just a, a galley kitchen. And uh, But I'll make it work. It's actually technically bigger than what I have now because our kitchen was like stupidly laid out in our other firm. Here, I'll go stand in it. So. so, lots of storage space. That's ugly. I'm going to take that out. Definitely, first thing. And then the cool thing about, I like about these is it goes through. So, we have our plates here, and then whoever's cooking can set everything up here. Ignore the tools, I'm busy. And place everything here, and then they can get everything there. But another cool feature is how you doing <laughs> is that you can have all your silverware and stuff there so that nobody's in the way yeah and then tracy's one of tracy's favorite features is i'm gonna use my foot it's filthy don't look it's at filthy it. we don't have water <laughs> but it's a lazy susan and then these open to drawer areas. So she can have all of her pot pans, <coughs> cast iron, <laughs> all there. See you guys, I'm ready to can again. The old Presto's already here. First thing brought. <laughs> oh, and don't worry. She's made sure she can have two <laughs> on at the same time. <laughs> don't worry, it can fit both. Get ready, canning videos are happening. She's already thought it out. So that's the kitchen and dining room. FYI, tall people don't work well with this light. <laughs> You're only 6'5". Then the long walkway. And then just, this is just a spare bedroom. This is going to be um, canning room. 
uh, canning room, um, extra storage. That heater's coming out. My desk will go in there. Yeah, our big work desk. I ain't showing the bathroom. No, the bathroom's gnarly, guys. You yeah. don't want to see it. And then, oh, not to be late. And then the big old linen closets. Get the What's big yours? drawers. Like big old things. And then we're not going to show you the other bedrooms. But this is a big bedroom, so you'll get the idea. Very dirty. <laughs> but it's been empty since mid December before we got the house. But that's basically the size of the bedroom. Yeah. That's that's about the size of all the bedrooms there. That's a good idea. So how about we pause you and we and will take go you outside. outside. See you guys in, well, it'll be a minute or two for us. Literally 2.5 seconds for you. <laughs> See you in a minute, guys. All right, so not outside yet. We <laughs> forgot about the laundry room. So we're gonna have shelving on this wall, a freezer over there, and then we're gonna have canning and big kitchen utensils and kitchen appliances there. Gonna get rid of these god awful. Well, they don't work. And they're god awful. Yeah, I have brand new ones at the other house. Um, ignore my tool stuff. There's still a lot more to go. Then we have a closet there. Another closet here. The guy liked this closets. Mm -hmm. And then this comes off to the water here. And which is weird, I know, one floor. It's weird for us too. Then that door is the bathroom, which I have to work on it. Then wonderful door. <laughs> We're assuming he had a dog. Oh, he had dogs, because it smells like dog in here. Because that's the only reason why I could ever imagine somebody doing this. Okay, we'll be right back, guys. We're gonna go outside. Okay, we're outside now, obviously. Oh, you stupid me, right? Um, this is, leads to our work area, well my work area, I mean, he had that as a tack room because he had horses, that ain't happening, I don't like horses, <laughs> nothing against them, so I'm going to, we know nothing my, about them, going to turn it into my work room, so all my tools and stuff and all that will be built there, then we go this way, And we're being watched again by people. New people in the neighborhood of 600. You didn't <laughs> notice like that. So you can see the barn looking place in the far end. I ain't taking you over there because I'm still working cleaning it out. That's three areas. That's chicken coop. So all three areas are going to be used for our chickens. If we come this way, I'm going to walk in front of you. Because I can. We've got... The wood shack for our firewood, already almost filled. Wonderful idea for us. Then the dog house is gonna get moved into that little alcove and that's gonna be our pig area. By the way, guys, two weeks, then we have baby pigs. <laughs> Just saying. We can't stay away from piggies. Lots of, lots of videos on care of them. Then this is where it gets what nasty. attracted to us <laughs> the space not the nastiness Leave, keep that in mind people don't ask us what this is it's called it's coming down <laughs> watch your feet i'm watching so we're they call this a gazebo <laughs> i call it a shack yeah but we're gonna turn it into tracy's wonderful outdoor kitchen not this year guys not, not this, this year. year no we have more we have a lot of money to spend out here but this is where majority of our land is now lots of things got torn down trees beautiful looking trees and what we're gonna do is all the pieces that are big enough that can be used we're gonna use it and make don't tell yet don't tell them yet we're gonna make something of them 
We'll walk the property, guys. Apparently, you guys have to wait and see. You gotta wait. So, that mountain right there, right there, that's ours. Yeah, we own that mountain. We own 85% of this road. Yeah. Because it goes all the way back there. That's all ours, all the way back to the road. Yeah, so we have road to road on either side of us. I just don't want to show people's houses, guys. And then we have it straight to the end of the road here. Hey, guys, just interrupting you for a minute. Um, the fact that this needs to be said is scary. I'll show you what I mean. But interrupting quickly for this short message. It needs to actually be said, please don't feed the bears. Really? Seriously. Please don't feed the bears, they can be dangerous. Oh, by the way, if you understand French only, it's there in French too, but really? It needs to be said, don't feed the bears, bears can be dangerous. Okay, apparently there are some weird people out there. Back to the reg regular schedule program, you guys. Thanks, bye. We're gonna walk there. But we have a mountain in the middle of it. Yeah. We just kinda gotta watch where we walk. This was logged at one point and never cleaned up. And there's deer poop everywhere. Yeah, kind of got to watch where you're going. We have deer that come in here every night. I'll try to get a video of that. But eventually this will all be past here again. Yes. And we're still walking in ice, so. <laughs> it's about minus something here. Yeah. Celsius people. <laughs> you Not love. Fahrenheit for you Americans. <laughs> I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit. No, we're Canadian. <laughs> we are on the American border now. <clears throat> yes, we're pretty much at the American border. We can see see Michigan now. Yes. <clears throat> so that gives you a little hint of where we are. So there's a better view of the mountain. Well, we're getting there. But like you can see, they just cut and pushed it all to the side and just abused it. Well, the gentleman passed away. The gentleman passed away uh, before he could get it. Like we said, he had horses and he used this to fly remote control planes and all of that stuff. But there's a better shot of the mountain. Eventually, I, when I'm cleared to do it, I'm going to go up it, but can't right now, health issue, which is, it's all good, but that is my goal, hopefully by the end of the year to get up it, but this is just part of our property, the rest is woods, which we really like. When we get our gator, we'll take them for a full tour. Yeah. When we bring the gator. But, see, we're not that far away from the house, but we're a distance away from that. And we're not even halfway done. No, and we're not even halfway across the property. But, things to come, ideas in the heads. And like the cool thing is, is if we keep going this way, I think it's cool. Other people may think it's really cool. Say we can't get in on the driveway side of our house or we're on the gator or the ATV. There's a way in this way. For the back way. And that goes to the end of our end of our property. As well. That goes right to the road. But we have pictures of our drive up here. Some pretty places and pretty views that we had. So if you pan to the house now. They will uh they can We are We're not even a quarter. We're not even property. no, we're not even a quarter through the property. So but things to come. A lot of building, a lot of cleaning. K 
pair of pegs because that's literally two weeks away guys new series come on my side that I'm doing you guys have to put up with me <laughs> I know don't hate in the comments because of it <laughs> <laughs> but that is right now a sneak peek of our property and what is potentially to come and internet comes next week internet is in about two weeks as well <laughs> So, so lots more videos coming. Yeah, could be even up to four a week. Yeah. So you better hit that subscribe button because we got a lot to do. Depending on what we build, we're gonna bring you along for everything. You guys said you want to see every little bit that we do. Yeah. Animal wise, house wise, building wise, and I want to see what you guys think about because you've seen all the branches and all the things down. Give an idea of what you think I'm gonna be building. And it's not a fence. And it's not a fence. Like, look at those beautiful logs. Look at those white birch. Like, how destructive, eh? What do you guys think I'm going to be building? I want to know your opinions. If anybody gets it right, I'll top comment at it. First person to get it right, I'll put, I'll pin it to the top. Why not? Why not? Let's see your guys' thoughts. Maybe you guys can give us an idea we're not thinking. Yeah, absolutely. But. I'm going to be doing something with that pile. My chainsaw is going to get a workout. We might need to. <laughs> and then there's a pile over here. Now, guys, what I want to say is when you guys are looking at, say, purchasing a homestead, we are no longer farming. Nope. At this point, we are done farming. Our farm is gone. And we are now transitioning from farming high scale to homesteading and that is a big difference but what we're also doing is creating sustainable life for our kids and i think that's pretty awesome and we're doing it debt free we have no mortgage on this property at all not even a little we have nothing we paid for it cash outright and that is why we purchased this property um the other property that we were in we were almost right there to the the signing and transferring the money and it turned out to be a scam so you guys got to be like i cannot and we had lawyers yep. we had two lawyers dealing with this at one point so it wasn't like we weren't getting a lawyer and all that stuff our lawyer actually caught it at the very tail end that that property was a scam and it was somebody else's property and somebody trying to sell the property and it became an absolute nightmare. So if you guys are purchasing a property, especially right now during issues, be very careful. Be very careful. Make make sure every T is crossed, every everything. So, but yeah, we're no longer a farm. And that is weird to Michael and I. We've been on, we've done farming now for many, many, many years. Yep. And now we're homesteading. And that is was our dream. You guys will we no had, longer hear, oh, Mike's over at the barn. Because yeah. I unfortunately had to walk away from that. So. So moving forward, our name may change. But our concept will always stay the same. So no worries on that trust me there's going to be so much canning you <laughs> don't even know i am so low on everything but this is our new homestead and i welcome all of you and i hope you guys all come for the ride with us it's going to be exciting and winners it's not going to slow down so nope. that'll all be a lot more indoor stuff and michael's got a lot of building to do in the garage and things like that so even winter time it's not going to slow down so especially since we've got those animals that we have to care for have to care for in minus 40 weather or Celsius worse weather so well we're all... we're mid what april yeah and we're still stepping on snow so we're still walking over snow piles we're we need to learn too we have never lived in this kind of climate before nope so our other farm is 15. southwestern ontario it's like 18 degrees yep. there right now Cody's so, at home in a shorts and a t-shirt. Yeah. So, and we're cold in pants and a sweater. Long sleeve and uh, flannel. Yeah. So, but that's our video for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, so much more to come. And let us know what you think we're doing with all these trees. I would love to know like just, your guys' opinion. And if it takes us a few, a little bit to answer them, we have to drive right now an hour and a half to get internet. So bear with us. But what do you think we're going to do here? Give us ideas. Give us suggestions. Yeah, give us your thoughts. I'd love to know. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. And who can say stay on a mountain? We can. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, guys, like, share, subscribe. And let's start. Yeah. Homesteading begins. Beginning of the beginning. Bye, guys.